Well, we're facing a big decision in the UK on what to do about airport capacity around London. And we need to learn from other people. And there are plenty of people here who have faced decisions in their own countries about where to put airport capacity, how to finance it, and it's very valuable for me to share experiences and indeed of course you also meet the operators of the British airports who are also here, so uh, you might say we could meet in London but in fact we're meeting in Leipzig. The first discussion I was involved in was generally about financing transport infrastructure, how you can best bring private finance into public projects, whether as a partnership or by getting new sources of revenue which will finance private money. So that was a general discussion and then for the rest of the afternoon I've been in a discussion about aviation particularly, the sustainability of aviation, how aviation fits into the climate change framework, how airports and airlines relate to each other, what customers want from airports and airlines in the future. I think that in the UK particularly we have to re produce a report by the end of the year on our provisional findings and then we have to report in 2015 on the final solution. But I think that this, discussions, uh, this discussion today has you know, stimulated some thinking in my mind about the way in which new airport capacity in the UK could be financed in the future. There's been some uh, interesting uh, debate about the overall macroeconomic situation and the relationship between that and what we do on transport infrastructure. With some people arguing quite persuasively, I think, that at a time of depressed activity, certainly in Europe, that one useful way of stimulating activity and employment, but which also delivers benefits for the future, is to accelerate some investment in transport infrastructure, particularly in countries where there is plenty of evidence that the transport infrastructure is rather creaking, and the UK, I guess, will be one of those.